What's up guys, this is Glorp from King Jeffrey here for another war review. So this war is going to be versus German Godfathers. They're a level 8 clan. We won pretty handily, 83 to 58. They had 3 Town Hall 11s, 9 Town Hall 10s, 13 Town Hall 9s, and five Town Hall 8s down at the bottom. Then for us, we had three Town Hall 11s, nine Town Hall 10s, 16 Town Hall 9s with one Town Hall 8. So you can say we had an advantage with all the, since we had all those extra 9s that they did not. So we finished with 24 3 stars, 5 2 stars, and 1 1 star. They finished with 2 3 stars, 24 2 stars, and 4 1 stars. So, very one sided war for this one. So, we're going to dive into some attacks here. First, I want to show Pain on number. Pain on number 3. And he's going to go with a Valks and Hogs raid. So he's going to come in from the south and southeast side. Puts the Valks in nicely. Single Infernos in the core. Hogs deployed on the east side. And he's going to finish with 69%. So a good raid by Pain. Next, uh, we're going to move down a little bit to Chief on number 5. He's going to do a minor raid. with the bowlers I really did want to get a lot of diversity I always try to get diversity in the attacks I show on here lately there hasn't been a whole lot of diversity in attack strategies when it comes to the three star attacks I know I've been playing with uh, a couple of strategy ideas that are decent but I keep not getting them to work in war and I struggled in this war as well with it. On well, this one he uses the Chief's gonna use the kill squad, the bowlers, the heroes to clear out one side then send all the miners on a nice line on the other side. Having the miners split up like this rather than all in one group helps them move through a base faster because once they're all bunched up on the one target they gotta it takes them a long time to clear the base so still has some clearing troops that he can throw down around the outside once the miners take out the inner defenses still has another heal for the miners Queen's going to go down there. Plenty of miners and plenty of clearing troops still left. So, I know I've brought it up before, but the whole nerf on the miners and the bowlers it just it just doesn't seem like they they did too much to to limit the the effectiveness of the raids that people are doing 
the miners are still very powerful, bowlers are still very effective. That that little bit of extra cannon damage and slowing the miners down a little bit just didn't have the effect I think they wanted it to. So that's Chief's Raid. Next we're going to go to Wux, one of our glorious leaders. She attacked number eight, also with miners. So he's going to send his skill squad in straight at the queen and the CC troops. His queen's going to wander off down here. I think I just said his. My bad, Wux. <laughs> Her queen is going to wander off down to the bottom. Miners come in from the north. Unfortunately, with the queen wandering, might be what costed Wux this third star. Still has one heal. And a couple whiz. But as you can see, still quite a few defenses left up over there. So a good raid by Wux. High percentage. Really, I think if the queen didn't wander there, that she'd have been close to a three-star on this attack. Next, we're going to go down and show Paul's attack on number 11. Not the best base here. See, it's, uh, it's really only a Town Hall 10 in name. It's going to do a, almost a Govejo Town Hall. So you can see here, even with the, the trap base, he sends his troops right into it. Doesn't even slow him down. Got the jump to get into the center there. He's just got to work his way around the outer part of the base. Has all those hogs. Plus all his kill squad troops are still working their way around both sides of the base as well. Paul's going to do a great job here with this raid. Four three stars. Next we're going to go down, we're going to show ghosts on number 14. He did a Govejo raid, which was the majority of the raids we did in this war were some some variation of Valks and Hogs. So he's going to use the baby drag to help funnel on one side with wizards on the other. Wall breakers down to get the golems into the center in front of the queen. A 
From there, he puts his Valks in with a few Hawks. And they're going to rush into the core of the base. Draws out the first DGB. And the kill squad is going to take out the heroes, no problem. And there goes the second giant bomb. So the hogs are in. They're working their way around the outside now without having to worry about the giant bombs. Got plenty of cleanup troops to work their way around the outside. He's getting those in now. The hogs don't quite make it all the way around. Luckily, still has lots of troops up. They just got to get around the outside of the base. So as I was saying, we had lots of this kind of strategy this war. The Govejos and variations on it are almost unstoppable if they're done right at Town Hall 9 anymore. The Valks are so strong, as well as the Hogs on the backside, if, if done correctly. It, it'll crush almost any Town Hall 9. Next, we're going to show Simo BA on number 23. He did a pentaloon, which was a throwback attack for me, so I had to put it in this video. What I like about these videos, or these attacks, are they are very, very fast. One of the fastest ways to three-star base if you can, if the base is set up right. You see, it's just over a minute. and the base is gone. Pups and heroes all over the place. Almost every base, almost every building that's on the map right now is being attacked by at least a pup. It's all the hounds to pop, so it goes incredibly fast, this attack. Basically, just throw down your, your hounds and then loons behind them and let them go to work. Uh, it doesn't work on very many bases anymore, so when, when we do get a chance to do an attack like this, I always like to show it. So that's all the videos I had pegged for this war. I seem to have gone through them much faster than I normally do. So bonus videos. Let's see. Pick one of the the newer people. Balloon dropping yay. Looks like he's gonna go with a queen walk into a govejo. Got some got a baby drag and some minions to funnel. They're on the outer corners of the base.
CC easily drawn from the outside, puts the queen down. So King Jeffrey right now has had a pretty big surge of fresh people, new people. We're also getting involved more with some smaller clans to do like test scrims. Right after this war, or sometime this this coming week, we've got a war we're gonna do in our feeder clan with uh, another clan. We do it that way so that we can kind of test the waters with other clans and see how we're gonna fit with them in a war scenario. And we've had really positive results. The last time we did, we did one last week, or the week before, and it went very well. It was a great matchup and a, a great war in our feeder clan. And we do it in the feeder so that it doesn't affect our main clan while we're experimenting. So that's been a great development for us. It's I think it's helped us bring in a lot of new people, which we had been struggling to do for a long time. So if you're watching this and you're part of a smaller clan and you're, you're interested in seeing what we're all about, you should definitely check us out. You can uh, hit us up on Twitter or in our feeder clan. Our feeder clan is Badger's Boot Camp. This would be our feeder clan right now. Badger's Boot Camp. We keep a lot of our second accounts over here. So that's going to do it for this war review. We've got another war going on right now. It'll be wrapping up tonight. Our war logs looking pretty good. So I don't have anything else for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.